Our study has found that 353 U.S. counties in 29 states have voter registration rates exceeding 100%. That means they have more people on the rolls than are living there and eligible to vote, according to the best, most recent census data, which goes, I think, through 2018. So when you count up all the voters that are, quote, extra, meaning the number of voters over 100%, what number do you come up with? 1.8 million extra names on the rolls, at least. Again, this is a partial examination of the states because not all the states put up the data. Judicial Watch today uh, issued a, a very important report about uh, the state of our election rolls. And our analysis is found, and we've done analyses like this in the past, but we've updated the data to the most recent election data or voter registration data the states have produced. And our study has found as of September 2020, I think we checked all the numbers up to uh, you know the latest numbers. Our study has found that 353 US counties in 29 states have voter registration rates exceeding 100%. That means they have more people on the rolls than are living there and eligible to vote, according to the best, most recent census data, which goes, I think, through 2018. So when you count up all the voters that are, quote, extra, meaning the number of voters over 100%, what number do you come up with? 1.8 million extra names on the rolls, at least. Again, this is a partial examination of the states because not all the states put up the data. I think 13 states don't put up the data. Some states put up data that's shady, so we don't we can't rely on it. Eight states, they're it's not just the county in the state, but the state overall has a registration rate over 100%. And those states are Alaska, Colorado, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Vermont. Our study collected the most recent registration data posted online by the states themselves. The data was then compared to the Census Bureau's most recent five-year population estimates gathered by the American Community Survey from 2014 through 2018. A those surveys are sent to three and a half million addresses per month, each month, and its five-year estimates are considered to be the most reliable estimates outside of the decennial census. So we have the census done every 10 years, right? But in the intermediate, they've got the census is always counting. So that's what that's referring to. Judicial Watch's latest study is necessarily limited to 37 states that post regular updates to their registration data. Certain state voter registration lists may also be even larger than reported because they may have excluded inactive voters from their data. That's a little trick. Because inactive voters who may have moved elsewhere are still registered voters and may vote up and may show up and vote on election day and or request absentee or mail-in ballots. So you just say, well, you know, I've got 15 registered voters here. Well, what about those other voters? Oh, well, they're inactive. Well, can't they show up and vote? Yes. Well, can they ask for a ballot? Yes. So why aren't they with the 15? Well, they're inactive. I mean, that's that's the garbage logic we have to deal with, the insane logic we have to deal with when we fight these battles. Now, Judicial Watch relies on studies like this uh, to warn states to clean up their roles. And some states actually react positively to say, well, we're going to clean up. Some counties clean up. Because the National Voter Registration Act requires states to take reasonable steps to clean up the roles. Now, as you know, we have, or you should know if you don't already, three states uh, in federal court right now, North Carolina and counties in those states, Colorado, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. In North Carolina and Pennsylvania alone, it looks like there are as many as 2 million extra names on the rolls. A little bit less than 2 million. Colorado, I'm not sure what the number is. I think it's 100,000 or so. I'm not sure. Two thirds of the state's counties in Colorado's had registration rates exceeding 100%. There's no good reason for that. 
I mean, even if the population bumped up a little bit, even if you had more people registering before the election, having a registration rate over 100% is unacceptable. And it shows why it is reckless for states to mail blindly ballots and ballot applications to people who haven't asked for them. Right now, it's, they're gone out. Mostly they've gone out because it's the, coming pretty close to the election. 100 million ballots and ballot applications are being mailed to people who haven't asked for them. This is the distinction the president has tried to make. It's one thing to have an absentee ballot requested from a, don a voter and the voter asks for it and then it's sent and the voter sends it back. I don't think that's the most secure way to vote. It's still subject to fraud because as I point out, or as the study points out, or suggests, when you've got dirty voting rolls, you can have dirty elections. Because if the, if the name is on the list and it's a bad name, it's still there for someone else to use for fraudulent purposes if they want. And you may say, well, there's all these security checks for absentee ballots. Well, there are some security checks. They're not sufficient in my view. Some don't have signature checks. The left is trying to undermine other security checks, such as witness requirements. You want a list of the states where the numbers are bad, where they have counties over 100%? Here it is. And it's, and it's not like, it's not all blue. It's a mix. It's red and blue. Meaning Republican and Democrat-oriented states. Alabama, Alaska. Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, and West Virginia. So all of those states have counties in them that have voter registration rolls that are out of whack. Some of those states don't just have counties, it's the entire state. The entire state is a problem. And again, those states are Alaska, Colorado, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Vermont. So this is important data. It highlights the dangers of mail-in voting, how reckless it is, and, uh, and the importance of Judicial Watch's work to clean up the rolls, don't you think? Don't you think? So uh, Judicial Watch's litigation will continue in that regard. And as the election comes closer, we are monitoring what else is going wrong in the system. And I encourage you to communicate directly with us if you're aware of any issues like that. Don't go asking and confronting people in the poll, polling places or start yelling at workers and things like that. Don't do that. You report to the proper authorities any issues and tell us what's going on. And we'll see if we can follow up. So this data shows 1.8 million extra names in just 30, 20, excuse me, 29 states. Tip of the iceberg. Our voting rolls are a mess and the politicians and the political class knowing that are mailing blindly into them anyway. That's why I'm upset. That's why I'm concerned about election day chaos. That's why I'm concerned about voter fraud. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.